God damn, we're fucking live, dude. We're live. It's Flash been a while since we've been in the studio. I know, man. It's crazy. I mean, dude, I don't even know. Where were we? Where was I? Oh, yeah, I was here last week. It was fucking crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the week before that, it was, it was a blur, dude. Oof, it's, it's all crazy, a blur. Bro. You've been yeah. on the move, man. I have. It's been a lot. Yeah. A lot of traveling. Yeah, man. I had to hold down the fort last week. I, I appreciate boys. it. I was at the Mall it. of America again. It actually was pretty good this time. Was it really? Yeah, I did. I thought it sucked last time. It, it was sick. September in a pandemic. Or uh, in the pan- so like it yeah, was dude. pretty empty, and I was like, "This sucks." And then this time it was it was full. The shots of it looked so cool it as fun. hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. Good. I thought when you described it to me, I'm thinking like I, when I think of bad comedy places, I can conjure up some like very hellish scenes. Yeah. So I was I was like drumming up some scenes. And I saw it. No, no, no. It's, like yeah, rules. it's good. No, nah, yeah, you're in the pandemic. I, made a I was. I was like genuinely Yo, went back to the TGI Fridays though. The, the, the TGI Fridays? The Mall of America, TGI Fridays. Where you held it down? Held it down. Put This time, I had to defend my honor. Did I you, played Dragula 12. You actually you played it this I had time. to. I was like, I have to do it. I have to re- redeem myself from Dragula. <laughs> for I stole tale. Dragula, Valor. <laughs> <laughs> I said it to you on the phone once, and I just broke my heart that I fibbed. It happens, I didn't dude. play Dragula the first time. Someone else did. Yeah, but dude, would he have this represented? Time, it? Would oh, he, have he represented. represented the, the click was strong that night. There was like five of us spread out. That, and that was during the, the middle of the pandemic. September, right? September twentieth. When you would tell me about doing those shows at first, I'd be like, "That's crazy." I was imagining yeah. everyone just like masked up and like just like four people in a room. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, yeah. Most of the places were fine, but Dragula, when it was like me and five dudes spread out in a TGI Fridays on like a Thursday yeah. in Minnesota, just traveling, everybody at their own dude. table, just getting. Beers this tall, oh, getting fucking fuck. trash. Someone's playing Dragula. So I played it, I'd say, four straight times. You played it four straight I times? I got the, yeah. I played it f- maybe five straight. Were you going up and doing it? Or were you hitting from No, I was in the distance. I was sniping. <laughs> you were sniping from your And phone. then finally a guy, one of the, like, the fourth, no one noticed. I was like, no one notices. So then what finally. Was the, what was the scene? How many people were there? A lot. Oh, it was packed. TGI Fridays is where all the, the industry, all the service industry goes to hang awesome. out afterwards. Really? So all the fine ass bitches are in there. Damn, all the waitresses. All the all the serving girls. People of color waitresses were in there. Really? Fine ass people of color. Damn. Dude. Yes. And they were they were That's you know, it was as party as hell, time. You say? Yeah, of course. All these fucking people of color and uh <laughs> doesn't that sound worse it's way worse same black people there's so many fucking colored people in there there's so many people of colored skin it's like dude what yeah i like to describe people on their skin yeah. immediately uh but the first couple waves of dragula no one noticed the waves are, but i overdid it on the touch i played it too many times in a row yeah, you got greedy. so finally uh this guy was sitting with his girlfriend he was like from us to the stoners yeah. and I saw him perk his head up <laughs> when Dragula came on again. And I was like, yo, you like Dragula? And he was like, is that you playing this? <laughs> like, and I was like, no. Who was this dude? Just a random guy on a date. He was like, I, and then he was like, I had a long day at work. I don't like it that much. Damn. <laughs> he heard it like six times. That, were the and original five stuck. Were the original five there? Uh, just the men you. probably. Were you the only surviving member of the No, they were party? probably there. I just couldn't see. They blended in. <laughs> also, it was Eid, Eid Mubarak, my friend, and... Minnesota is packed with Somalis. So TGI Fridays was bumping with Somalis, yes, dude. Muslims, people of color, Muslim people of color. It was a melting pot, dude. It was a melting pot. And Dragula was bringing us together. Yes. And, and some Dina. dickhead on his And some white fuck was oh, like, fuck who's it. playing Dragula? Trying to control everything. Trying to control loser, everyone's vibing to Dragula. Everybody dude. was vibing. Like viral videos of probably dudes all, like dancing to Dragula. Like, dude, this just is hot shit. young women of color dancing. Like, Dig through the ditches <laughs> and burn. I was just, I was. It was a fucking. Vibe. It was so vibey. Dude, the vibe was so. And good. then uh, some white fucking asshole. And then some dude. white Fuck! fucking devil was like, "Who's playing that?" And I was like, "Do you like it?" <laughs> and he was like, "Is that you?" And I was like, <laughs> "No." <laughs> he was like, "It's definitely you." I was like, "Well, it's not." What was his date? And then she probably wanted to fuck you. Well, she was covering her head. Yeah, it was a scene. And then uh, I made. I didn't realize I had played it like three more times. How many? It was more, loaded up. How many more? So times? after I like fought somebody, I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just kept that intro is so funny to hear that like weird. <laughs> I forget. I don't even know what noise that is. And then uh, how's the intro go? Uh, I don't even know how to describe it. The beginning of Dragula is like. Why did I find? No, no, before the guitar. It's like a weird, like... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Mm. 
Hold on. Let's let's actually just let's get the. Uh... Yeah, well, you need to paint a picture here. Think of this: Muslims, women of color. <laughs> TGI Fridays. <laughs> now think of a dude going like this. <laughs> She's like, God damn it, I just want to enjoy my burger. <laughs> so then here's what I was doing. Dude. Yeah. This <laughs> so just gets then, spooky as hell. It's out so of spooky. <laughs> and then what you gotta do when you a lot of guys think they're good with the touch tunes, dragon what you gotta do oh. is you gotta get the people going. So you gotta sure. toss in like a remix to ignition. For sure. Or like a I'm real remix. Yeah. A lot of remixes. Yeah, definitely. But th- once you put on a song that everybody loves. Yeah. They're, they're, they're all like, attention. woo! They all start dancing and yeah, having so you're fun. DJing and the party. then you hit a Dragula. You bring them back in with a fucking Dragula. I'm a counterpuncher on the touch. So you're tunes. DJing this party. I yeah, I DJed the TGI Fridays, and then people started. Oh, you like, might be DJI Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> DJI Fridays. DJI Fridays. Dude. That's pretty sick name. So yeah, I was DJing it. And we went out with two, me and my lady went out with two fans after the show. Nice. Two lucky fellows. Yeah, and dude. then they got to witness me and my lady getting a fight. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, oh, you're done talking? We're not talking for the rest of the was night? Was this after Dragula? <laughs> this is, I mean, during Dragula. There was no, <laughs> there was no after. I left with about four Dragulas in the chamber. <laughs> So yeah, if you listen to this, and, and the you manager have, has to reset it with the key. If there's the, too many dragulas lined up, the manager has to has come out to of the come back out, yeah. and like undo a, the. The waitress key. was upset. Our waitress was upset. <laughs> Why? Because she was like, "Is that you?" Doing that? <laughs> 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 and uh, oh fuck! Yeah, it was nice to get a domestic in front of two fans. Oh, and they had a two dudes like, like, "This is a cool night. We get to go out after the show." And then I was just like, "Oh, you when you want to not talk? What happened? What are you mad at?" <laughs> Yeah, it was good. Oh, fuck. Good Damn, night. dude. Yeah, and then you just call the hotel and they pick you up in a bus. What? It's great. <laughs> I don't know why I was complaining. You about might this. be Dragula, All of America dude. rules, dude. I was Dragula. You, you just call Dragula. the hotel. You're like, all right, I'm done at TGI Fridays. <laughs> and they bring a shuttle to pick you up. A huge shuttle? Yeah. A huge. Yeah, it's the sickest move. You get blacked out, yeah. leave TGI Fridays in a bus. Fuck. You're like, who was that guy? Damn. Yes. That fucking rules. That's just, yes. that's as good of a weekend as you can That have. was a victory. How did you guys make amends on the bus? Yeah, we made amends because she started trying to give the guy directions. And I was like, oh boy. ain't that a woman? It was a it was a person of color How bus driver. Like, he was a male driver. person of color. I don't want to assume. and But I think he had a fucking dick and nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I'd hate to assume he had a cock, but he, I think he did. <laughs> sure. Sure. Yeah, me and him had a good laugh. Really? Yeah, she she I broke down. She that came around. Icy queen. She yeah. was trying to silent treatment. She was like, hey, "Don't you go this way?" And I was just like, "The guy drives a fucking bus. He only goes. He, from this here is to the there. only place he goes. Yeah. You don't think he knows? Oh, it was great. Brittany used to do that to me. I'll be like driving to my parents' house, and she'd never been there before. Like, I think we're going the wrong way, and I'm like, "Dude, you grew up like six hour flight. <laughs> yeah, or, yeah. It's like a I guess it's, it's like a <laughs> six hour drive." You're going to tell me how to get to my parents' house from the place I've been living for 15 years? It's not a Then mail. I make one wrong turn, and I'm like, fuck! Yeah, fucking the GPS. Yeah, I'm yeah. big onto Google Maps. Google Maps destroys bays and dads. Oh, dads hate the Google Maps. Kills them, dude. The, my dad gives me directions oh. every, every day. Their directions are even worse than MapQuest. Remember, you yeah, had to print yeah, out yeah, the yeah, MapQuest and be like, do we turn... This road, you know, you'd have to like mentally gauge 0. 0.8 yeah, miles. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, I don't know, dude. I think we passed it. Dad, dad directions are, I mean, it's just like gas stations that aren't there anymore. Oh, you're God. like, dude, no, there's a gas, there's, there's a shell or there's a sicko. <laughs> it's down there and you make the left over there. What you're going to want to do is take a right down there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, they, and as soon as you're like, I'll just put up my phone. No, 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 no. Like, listen, listen here. I'm going to tell you how to get there. It's like, just give me the address. I don't know the address. It's like, fuck. Yeah, I must have been crazy navigating with maps. I thought about that because I go to a wedding this weekend. What, like, take, taking a literal map out? Yeah. yeah that's... I, when I was little, I used to have to hold the map for my dad. Yeah, I remember I was that. Like, we had an atlas. Yeah, he'd be like, what, what street are we on? I'm like, I have no fucking clue, dude. Right? Atlas? That's what I'm looking was for, Was it right? Road Atlas? Yeah, Road Atlas. Yeah, it's pretty tight. I had to pull it out and just be like, he'd be like, where, what street are we on? I'm like, I don't You'd know. You'd have to like flip through like Missouri, Montana, yeah. Mississippi. <laughs> like, we're it's in like, Pennsylvania. Dude, I don't know. This is a bunch of little lines, yeah. dude. That's a sick weekend, though. It was. It flew back. The guy on the flight in front of me was watching or was playing uh, Total War. 
my game. I've never what? even seen it in public. How do you play? I was fuming. I was so jealous. I didn't bring my laptop. How was he playing on the flight? He has a laptop. Oh, with Wi-Fi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was just... Damn. Were you peeping? I was at- peeping in between the seats. Were you? <laughs> <laughs> just watching how he played it. What, would you get any new? Like, what'd you think? He was all right. Was he? He was all right. He was playing Medieval 2. It was a pretty sick game. Ooh. Yeah. But he was France. I saw what he, I saw the map. He went from the Iberian Peninsula. He was running into the Holy Roman Empire. What? <sighs> yeah. I mean, I, you give me the shivers. You're like, was- ooh. <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, Careful. Yeah, it was a good trip. Damn, that's awesome. Nice trip. Hell yeah. That's what's up, man. Oh, we were before the podcast, we were talking about the offensive lineman in the intro is Quentin Nelson. Yep. How Elite. crazy is that? I just picked your favorite offensive lineman. It's crazy. Just blindly. It's it is crazy. It's crazy. And then people were like somebody was like somebody DM me was like, yo, is that you? Yeah. I was like, Yeah, definitely. Obviously. I played for the Colts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best offensive lineman in the NFL. <laughs> uh but he's a jacked man. Look him up. He's a handsome fella. And yes. we, were, we, what do you think he would do to you? Matt asked me what his, what do you think his top sexual move was? Well, he's like a, um, he's the ultimate bear. He is. He's a bear. I mean, he's a grizzly. He's like a big. He's like a dude who's so big he's hot by default. Yeah. So he could have any face. And, and he's like, not like bodybuilder, no. retarded jacked where they look. He's bear. Insane. He's like he's bear jacked. Yes. Oh God, what that guy would do to you. I mean, we were. I was. I was more curious of like how he makes love to a woman. You kind of like flipped. I did it switch it to what he which, could do to me. Which he could. That's the thing. That's also true. And he could do one of those things where they hold you up. He could. Back, hold, he yeah. put his hands onto the back of my knees and hold me in the air. He could me. hold you like that and grip you by your buttocks. He could each. He would palm each of your butt cheeks and just fucking level you, dude. What? <laughs> I'm saying he, what? He's physically capable of that. He's absolutely no physically capable of holding you up. And just fucking, just by yeah. each cheek and just. I think I would be a hard rape for a lot of people, but he's one of the few. That's oh, I'm not just, assuming he's raping you. I'm assuming I it's would, consensual. Uh, there's no choice. <laughs> there is literally zero choice. Uh, that must suck, I would be dude. a tough, I think he'd be a tough rape. We're just talking to man to man rape here, but like getting yes. raped by a standing. We're talking about the kind of rape you can joke about. Exactly. Male on male rape. The very funny kind. The funniest kind. Dude, of him, imagine that had to happen to a dude who's like, stop, put me down. The guy's oh, like, guy in air getting raped? Cameron. him. <laughs> <laughs> raped in air? I mean, technically there has to have been a bunch of midgets that have been raped throughout history. Oh, yeah. You think you would hold, you think you'd yeah. do like an air doggy or just like the. <sighs> Air doggy. Air you doggy boy? is tough, dude. Because <laughs> they're not going to bend in half. If you hold a midget like that, they're not going to fold. The yeah, they center of gravity is perfect. They just, just, yeah. they just lay perfectly like a 90 degree angle. <laughs> you, just, <laughs> you just air doggy them, dude. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll change topics. <laughs> My bad. I just think it's funny to imagine what Q would do to us. Quentin Nelson, dude. Sick he could nickname. fuck us both. Sick nickname these he days. Would hold me with, he would hold me with one arm. And he would just take you out. I would have to the whole time watch. No, he could I was bear next. hug both of us. He'd be like Goro. You think he could stack us? Yes. He'd be stack bottom. He could stack us and hold us. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I would get into it. I would sixty nine. You, I'd be underneath. I'd be watching. You start there. fucking with me. I'd watch the penetration. <laughs> <in front. laughs> just trying to catch any drops I could get. <laughs> True. I'd probably lick his sweat and stuff. Quentin Nelson. We'd both be front row at the next game. Be like, dude, go Colts. Let's go. go <laughs> That'd be our settlement. <laughs> How do you think the thing would go down from like us? He'd probably enlisted us for a massage. Like, oh, you think he'd hit us with massage. the Watson? Yeah, he hit us with the small towel or movie, <laughs> yeah. dude. I don't know. That's I, what that's what uh Sandusky was doing. He was hooking he was quieting the kids with some fucking uh, box seats and was shit. Was he really? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. I got to hit a – I was at a wedding on oh, yeah. Saturday. It was yeah. a blast. But they um I believe the bride was from Penn State and then I think one of my cousins went to Penn State. So he was he started doing the Penn State stuff and I just got up real quick between him and his girlfriend. Maybe she went, I don't know. Du- just crop dusted him with a Sandusky or uh Joe New right by them. Wow. Got him on the table. Joe New walked right back to my table. Nice. Pretty fun. That's they, the- they hate that. He laughed. He had a good he All right, had, good. Yeah. He fake Frankie. laughed. Frankie had a good oh, all right, Frankie all right, laughed all right, all right, all right. But I walked by Joe New. Right by him. Joe did know. He did. He knew so, all about it. I had to settle that down. I couldn't have that on my side of the wedding. I was like, no, no, no. that's nah. Penn State weddings. Good God. We oh. are Penn State. Pedophiles. We are. Yeah, you guys rape. We are rape complicit in horrible crimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's almost as bad as a West Virginia 
wedding. You ever go to one of those? No. People that went to WVU. Not what they, they, oh, they sing country roads. They really? all get together in a circle, lock arms, and sing country roads. Isn't that the name of the song? A Johnny Denver? Possibly. Yeah. I've never I've never Take got me home. This wasn't like a full on I I've I've met couples who were like full on like blue and white type like blue and white party type things. This was like a small uprising. This was like a this was a couple oh, people. Okay. Was only I, a know, couple. I had to just stifle what I could on my side. Yeah. I couldn't cover the whole ground. I could have grabbed I should have grabbed the mic and be like just just to throw this out there, guys. You yeah. Know? We should be we should yeah, you should have ripped the mic. Moment of silence. And be like, DJ. Play it. There's a band. The Dragula comes. Oh in. fuck, dude! <sighs> cool down the party, dude. I had a uh, I had a wild night, man. I went so I, I go to this wedding, and uh, remember I told you when I did the five grams, I like was like the idea of dancing. I was like, dude, I'm just gonna dance anywhere. I yeah, go. like whatever. So Which is gay. Not on your say part. Say that. I think I like that. Little spoon's comfy, dude. Uh, I sleep naked too, so the yeah, cuddling. Of course, of course you do. What's wrong with cuddling? Penis sleep? against a lady. That's the best thing. It is nice. That, that I do like. You you, yeah, you then my arm. Then your arm's stuck. You just do it for a little bit. Yeah, and you snuggle yeah, a the teen, You snuggle the penis until somebody falls asleep, and then you gotta yeah, you're wake off. up. Yeah. And yeah. at this point, I am. I have a pillow. I clutch like this. Yeah, I have a yeah. pillow between my knees, and I just thrash about. What's well, the thing? Like, I don't mind cuddling. I just can't sleep. Like, very hard to yeah. sleep. Like, first off, it takes a long ass time to like get your sleep schedule used to someone else's, and then like even then. Like, if they're a light sleeper, they just fuck you up and wake you up all the time. Mm. I need my sleep. You have no idea what I'm up against. I have a lady who screams in her sleep. She's night terrors. She's in Afghanistan. A, God, yeah. <laughs> she, like, I don't know what happened to her. She murdered those pine nut farmers. Dog tags. Dude, <laughs> I don't know what happened to her, but it's terrifying. And then I get mad. Yeah. Because I can't help it. I'm getting woken up to screams. I'm Make like, your, Would you shut up? Make like, it just, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's the maddest you can possibly be. No. Getting woken up scared, I'm fuming. Yeah, yeah. I'm fuming yeah, have twice take, a night. Have her take magnesium. Magnesium so, really helps you sleep. You take that's a, the problem. She's taking sleeping stuff. What? Like melatonin. She'll take like yeah, a melatonin or like a Benadryl or something. Yeah, but sometimes that'll fuck you fucks up. Fucks them up. Yeah. Tony, you, man. I'm, I'm the, girls, the girls love pills. Yeah. Man. True. The ladies yeah. love pills. Pills are for girls. Yeah. For sure. Do you guys take antidepressants or anything? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you want to know something sad about antidepressants? I, well, research, I was researching them the other uh, day. Uh, brain plasticity or some shit? That always no, it was actually... They, so they, Why do you take them? I, yeah, I take a thing for anxiety. Yeah. Nice. Do yeah. you really? What do you take? I take Paxil, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I've read the SSRI. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? The SSRIs... So what happened? A lot of people gain weight on them, and everyone. I was like trying yeah, to understand the mechanism of weight gain from antidepressants, and apparently, I think like glucose is like a precursor to forming serotonin. So huh. you have people who are like trying to, you know, they, they don't even realize they're doing this, but their body starts being like, "We need more sugar. We need more." So they're just like eating sugar and trying yeah. to make their brain make happy chemicals, and it's like, God, it's so fucking sad. Yeah, that is depressing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I like. Uh, I don't even need it as much anymore because I got married. It was just like. When I would go on dates, I would like sometimes I'd have panic attacks. Like sometimes oh, I'd be fine, nice. but like other times I don't even like. You'd freak out on dates. Yeah, I'd freak out on dates. Like or like <laughs> actually, you know, like I would stress vomit. Like M M&M and M and Eight Mile or what? Like and the main thing before was a date? before a date on or a even date? on a date. You'd sometimes be like pardon me and go yeah, to the bathroom and throw up. Exactly. Yeah, that's the thing. Is <laughs> the key you can't throw up in front of a girl on a date. No. She's never gonna fuck you. So you have to like. Excuse Sean's like her. throwing up before a date, and then he meets the girl, and she's like, "Yeah, I live in Bushwick, <laughs> just like the shittiest <laughs> date." <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh yeah. fuck. But I'll yeah, no. water in my mouth. Yeah, like sometimes I would like arrive at a date and be Do like, "You watch Broad City?" It's a good show. <laughs> He's just like, <laughs> that's the worst. It's like <laughs> there's no real like logic to it, but in the back of your head, you're like, "Okay, I'm about to blow this. I'm like about to get pussy, but I'm about to blow this. Yeah. Like I'm gonna like you know say something or gonna fuck." And it's like, why the fuck am I trying to impress like these people? Yeah. You know, it's it doesn't make any sense logically. But I would like yeah. occasionally I'd like show up and be like, "Hey, nice to meet you. I'm just gonna run to the bathroom." <laughs> do, you, do you drink alcohol? Yeah, on the date, like after like two beers, I'm fine. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. You know, show yeah. up hammered. Yeah, that's show like up. that is like the. And then the if the cheat date code. goes bad, you just like it's, who it's gives like a in, fuck. It's like in baseball where you cheat the fastball yeah. and you like start swinging before they throw it. You just get loaded for the date. Was yeah, there a so. thought process behind it, or were you just like there was like yeah like I mean it's it's not really like logical where it's like my heart starts going and then there's like a I feel nauseous and you know nervous but like. In terms of like what I'm thinking in my mind, do you the, pre-jack? 
No, I didn't pre-jack. I don't. I think I tried that once because you know something about me. No, no, I, don't no. Think I mean, it, do you prematurely ejaculate? Oh no, no, kissing. I never had that problem. Yeah, but that'd be a <laughs> me neither. Yes, <laughs> never happened. Or I guess no, it, it never. It's fucking happened, happened, but what is sick to like just like be puking on dates and finally getting pussy and just absolutely shredding her pussy. Just yeah. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's I was like, nervous you weren't going to be able to experience this. <laughs> yeah. I was nervous for you. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's I'm what always, the anxiety was. I'm always nervous sick for the girl that she's <laughs> not going to be able to get to Can't give my flaccid penis a blowjob. Well, I say it's not going to work and I go to sleep. <laughs> it's funny the confidence I have on dates knowing <laughs> knowing where this is going. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm charming. And then also I'm just luring them into a horrible sexual experience. <laughs> Did you, uh, I wanted to ask, uh, did you ever get like, I guess, girls hitting you up because the SNL thing or like Instagram messages? Yeah, that, or, yeah. Like, that helps. Yeah. Any notoriety helps. Right. Yeah. Dude, you got you to gotta do a, a video of like, you know, like the uh, come to my hotel and just fucking yeah. have the room cards just dangle a soft yeah, bird. Have, just like fucking... I'm just going to have, yeah, like flower petals, yeah, come... rose petals leading up to a bed where I just lay there and be like, well, you can just give me a head for a little. <laughs> at, at 45 minutes of head and I'm like, well, it's not going to work. Let's go to bed or you can leave. <laughs> That's how it's done. That's alpha as fuck. And then yeah. I throw up. Google yeah. says, hey, oh, <laughs> I'm like, what am I doing? I don't even get up to throw up. I just lay there. <laughs> So the pack still worked. For you the, gotta throw up during yeah, head. It, it, it sort of worked, yeah. I mean, mostly works, yeah. <laughs> nice, dude. Apparently, again, I'm not gonna harp on magnesium, but yeah. magnesium slows down the production of uh, norepinephrine and cortisol and adrenaline. I have got so you tired have, of norepinephrine, dude. You get it? Sick you get it, it, dude? She so makes when, the when worst you get anxious, movies. <laughs> so you have to use like minerals and shit to produce these chemicals. Yeah. And then when you start you start using up you start depleting yourself of vitamins if you get all if you're all like yeah. fucking wound up like that. So that you start and you start taking them and filling them back up, it like calms down your nervous system. Well it's like it's fucked up because nobody has any idea how SSRIs actually work for mm. like, you know, ki- treating anxiety or depression. Mm. Like they have some effectiveness, but nobody has any idea what I think alcohol like. works better for it does, yeah. Anxiety. Yeah. But it's like you know, when you're like going about your day and, you know, not trying to get fucked up. You could get a little, you know, have one or two, go to work. <laughs> True. Be get the a little man. Flask. Just be the man at yeah, work. Yeah. This is my anti anxiety medication. That's probably what Cuomo was doing. He's probably drinking a little vino. Yeah. Go Ended on. up walking by like a police officer. Like, <laughs> <laughs> where's your body camera? <laughs> Sorry. To... Yeah, dude. That's do a, a, do a body camera sex tape with oh. the state trooper. <laughs> just heard like, sir, 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 sir. Just two arms, like, sir, sir. Like, I'm going to have to tase you. It's I'm like have to tase Cuomo you. point of view. That's <laughs> 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 to get it out of the body cam. Fuck. Poor guy. Cuomo's Poor guy. done, dude. Yeah. He's out. We're not allowed to kiss on the forehead anymore? Uh, dude, did you did you watch the video no. that he put out his press release video? We're, we're, no, I, I think it was it. like last week. It was great. What did he do? It literally read. It sounded like a Dr. Seuss poem. <laughs> he was like, "I kiss girls, I kiss blacks, I kiss LGBTQ members, I hug on the plane, I hug on the train." Like it was it was crazy. And each one, every time he'd say something, there'd be a picture of him hugging and kissing someone. Right. It was great. He, so he did he like Biden. Defense. He was like, "Bro, I did this to everybody." That was his defense. Yeah, they put together. Like, like, I wasn't horny doing it. I did sexually assault everyone, though. Here's a montage of me sexually harassing the fucking Jesse Jackson. <laughs> yeah. Then I smeared him. Jesse Jackson <laughs> must have been like, man, that fucking queer. <laughs> oh, that's what that was. Ain't no goddamn queer putting his hands on me. <laughs> Jesse I did Jackson. it to Louis yeah. Farrakhan. <laughs> I did it to everybody. So Do he you, claimed he just. Yeah, he, he was like, I did this my whole life. He's a care bear. It's not a big deal. He's a care bear. Yeah, it's a good move. Yeah. You get accused of assault, just be like, I do that constantly. Is that real? Because he did like say the, oh, um, they're punishing me for being Italian or what? Like, do you have, yeah, I guess, well, gropey family member, very touchy or? Well, they punish Italians. That's all the true. Time. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So being kind of like, just for being ourselves. They right. don't like Catholics in power, dude. They do that to the Irish yeah. as well. Yeah. That's yeah, right. It goes back to the wasps. Yeah. The wasps, they blew JFK's brains out. They took down Cuomo. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. They made Biden retarded with pills or something. Right. I was they thinking like, like they were a little bit more charismatic yeah. than them. Well, I was thinking the like Irish? Uh, the, the wasps don't yeah. like it. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. The I was going to say, the Irish little are a little more charismatic yeah, than like Italians. Just, are they? Beautiful Definitely. poets. You guys are like handsome fucking. Yeah. Hey, we're over here. We're fucking. Hey, uh, ma. Hey, ma. Irish check me out, funny, ma. Yeah. Drinking. Great writers. Fighting, hitting women. Yeah. yeah. Well, 
I guess we're we're <laughs> yeah, the that's Irish and Italian <laughs> solidarity. Yeah. Yeah. Women. There's a mural in Belfast. <laughs> yeah, dude. My brother was telling me there was a uh, fuck, dude. What what was his YouTube video? So it was like in the 1970s, and some guy was basically coming out talking about. Oh, it was um, Hunter S. Thompson got did a thing about the Hell's Angels, and yeah. like yeah. they beat the shit out of him at one point. They kicked his ass. And apparently the guy, this is on like a like national TV, the guy's like, well, you got involved in a, an argument between his man and his wife. And I think the thing was like, well, he was beating his wife. Yeah. And the guy, like for the studio, like a late night TV show, was just like, sometimes you got to slap him around. The studio was like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> it was like the 70s. It was like that like, Sean Connery Woo! interview. Yeah. You were just laughing. You ever see that one? No. Yeah. Sean Connery's just getting interviewed. Well. He's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have to. Sometimes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let me hear it. Well, sometimes they, they want to have the last word. Yeah. yeah he's and, like, you got to just uh, slap him in the face. He said that? Yeah. yeah he was like. Yeah, I think his shirt was off for that, some reason. Dude, I'm I think he was like in a bathing suit. Oh, that's right. He had like a bunch of hair. <laughs> like he looked like the most alpha man of all yeah, time when dude. he said that. You just got to fucking slap him, dude. James Is, Bond. Do you think, Open, you know, and again, yeah. we're just, we're spitballing ideas yeah. here. Do you oh, think literally. there's like a gentlemanly way not to be like an animal not to be like an Italian no offense no, he's, just like yeah. shit at him well, he's that's exactly, the way that's, that's, that's come down to reality this. yeah that's Irish. exactly what he said in that interview Connery is like you sometimes with an open open palm when yeah. they're being hysterical yeah. and you can't calm them down yeah <laughs> dude I then, like to slap them when they're asleep yeah you think so just while they're asleep I fucking and just if, <laughs> and then I go <laughs> <laughs> yeah if they tra- if they offend me during the day, I go no, it's fine. And then that night, I'll lean. There's a hard pinch and just be like a fucking bug must have bit you. I don't know what it is. I don't know they why. You like- do you ever think that? Do you, do you ever? <laughs> do you ever think there were kids? I as I always heard like you know the horrific like just it's so scary or like your dad's beating your mom. Do you ever think there are any kids who are like, woo, get her yeah, fucking dad. Beat fucking, her ass. She's so fucking. She's- I'd cheer for him. I love my dad. I'd cheer for him if he started wailing on my mom at this like, point too. Get her. Get her. <laughs> She's on his ass, dude. He needs one of these days, Phil. He's got one in the tank. I mean, by the time you're 70, you know. You can get away with it. Close enough. You get one. But yeah, that, yeah one. you're right. Like just once... one up against the wall. Like, I'm fucking Jesus fucking I'm trying to up. watch the Phillies. I thought it would get fucking better. And we're 70 <laughs> and you're still fucking shot the fuck up. We're not getting a pool. <laughs> I mean, dude, seventy like you're in like you're in like a little weekend getaway. No yeah. one's gonna just fucking oh, shut the no fuck one's gonna up. Believe her. I've dealt with this for fifty fucking years. Shut the fuck up. I swear to fucking god. <laughs> yeah. I'll fu- and it's you don't like do an it. anniversary. Just present. up against the wall. Just up it. against the wall. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. You know when you give your wife a coupon for like a back rub or something? Yeah, 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 she gives yeah, you yeah. one to one. <laughs> smack the shit out of her. <laughs> yeah, just one like slap. Her. Yeah. If I'm talking out a line, you get to use the coupon. I wonder how many guys have not like just gotten like diagnosed with like you have a month. It's like, all right, <laughs> going home. You know, like, do you imagine that too? You got the terminal diagnosis, you. and she's like, "Why are you doing?" It's just like, <sighs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> right now, you'd be if this were you, you'd be in a fucking blanket, live, laugh, love, all that shit. You fucking picking me apart. Yeah, I got a fucking year to live. Hmm. Actually, I did a. Um, I didn't put it out yet. I did a Patreon with two yeah. ki- with a. Uh, with a Canadian doctor who's doing psilocybin therapy for people who are end of life. Yeah. And he was basically saying, like, everyone thinks, you know, you get that six months to live and you're all like, this is what I – and he's like, there's just are people who are same as ever, just crushed with anxiety. Hmm. They're just like, I'm going to fucking die. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we talked about psilocybin therapy and how it works for people who are, like, about to die. He said it takes that – you have to have a cloud of death around you and it just fucking – Yeah. It moves away. Hmm. You're feeling like you might die kind of sucks. Oh, like knowing you're going to though. Yeah. That's like, they're like, no, you are. And you're yeah. just like, you're hanging with your kids. You're like, I'm going to fucking die. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Kind of, a, it flies in the face of the SSRI model. Cause they're saying they got to like alter your brain chemicals. You have like one crazy experience and you're like, whoa, fuck. I'm well, not as depressed. Yeah. I know they were saying like ecstasy treats PTSD and I know like uh, psilocybin and LSD and stuff have been good for addiction. And, and I guess that kind of stuff when you're like. Yeah, because that's like what we were talking about. The other one is like that's where all mental problems come from. Is this or not all? But I think a lot of them. This denial of death. This idea. Did you ever read the book Denial of Death? No, I, I heard. I heard Mark Maron's gay ass plug it. So I was yeah, like, I fucking no hate thanks. that. What are you talking about, dude? Uh, uh, yeah, dude, this is Team Rogue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forget of books. everything yeah, about yeah. that book rules. Yeah. 
Yeah. Marin didn't read it. Yeah. Marin didn't read it. <laughs> he, he's fucking, yeah. he's stealing yeah. Death Valley. I'm sure it's great, though, yeah. I mean, I, I agree with the idea. I agree with the title. <laughs> it rules. It's so sick. I'll tell you what's crazy is every flying to, I fly every weekend to these shows, and literally the whole time I'm flying, I'm, I'm contemplating death. Yeah. Hmm. And then yeah. I just land, and I'm like, hey, how's everyone? Yep. Get a little bumpy. Yeah. Oh, those bumps. I the worst is when oh, I'm yeah. when it's bumpy and I'm looking at like a girl and she's about to freak out and I'm like and she's just like calm yeah. as hell and I'm like You know what I was thinking dude. of that helps is that Bill Burr bit about the guy making noises during turbulence. You guys ever he's like ah! Ah! Yeah, yeah. Ah! <laughs> He's like, You don't think I would be doing that? <laughs> be a fucking man, shut up. <laughs> just some guy in the back bumping like ah! <laughs> <laughs> I just my arms rise up. I get turbulence I go. And I oh, just fucking I just do it quietly. I just listen to rap. Did you really on the plane? Yeah, I put on music. You just listen to rap. Put on, on the like plane? talking shit music. Really? If I'm if I'm afraid of death, yeah, it's a good. Yeah, idea. I'm like, well, I can't die listening to this. True. Even though I'm sure a lot of people have. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> a lot of oh, yeah. people got shot listening to that. Just, I'm the best. I'm the best. <laughs> like, what's this guy want? I haven't seen that oh, guy in a month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that stinks. That would stink to get murdered while you're listening to rap. Hmm. You're just like things are. Everyone who's listening to rap is like at the same time like things are about to get so fucking good for me. Yeah, that's gonna fucking oh shit, yeah. fuck. Oh man. You find yourself alone, riding in green fields with the sun on your face. Do not be troubled. Or you are. Wow, man. It's good to be here. Sorry if I'm a little hoarse. Oh, yeah. yeah I was hollering. What were you hollering? Carrying on. You were, carrying on. I've never seen you carry on like I that. I was carrying on. Dude. Man, I was crowd surfing. Dude, that was... Skankfest was fun. Skankfest was that fun. That was a lot of fun. It was maybe too much fun. I had too much fun. I'll be honest with you. I had the perfect amount of fun. You did. Well, you tend to... I take it, I took it easy. Yeah. I took it easy. You're a teetotaler. But I would say... I am a slight teetotaler. I try to alter my states when I'm in like more of a therapeutic setting. I know, and I, it's not an attack, dude. I know you hate that. What? My way I alter my states in a strict, like strictly spiritual context. What the hell are you talking about? Why do I hate that? <laughs> always, that was an attack. No, no, you always all the all the. Like, what was my impression? You're getting high is different, or I don't know. I'm not attacking. You. I'm just. <laughs> I'm trying to make you as comfortable as possible. Okay. <laughs> What the fuck, dude? No. We're sitting here hanging out. I we know. Were, having fun. You had this attack. fucking attack in your it back was, pocket no, this whole attack. time. It wasn't even an attack. We're watching attack. Gladiator together. It was you great. Have a, you have a secret you attack. Knew you knew. No, it wasn't a secret attack, dude. You might be the sun, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely Maximus. Don't hug me. Don't hug me, dude. I will squeeze you to death. Yes, you're in a very deep therapeutic state. It's gang <laughs> No, I wasn't. That's what I'm saying. I avoided it. Oh, nice. The um, no, that's what you call. Well, you called me a teetotaler, which is kind of a you know. Is that a nice thing? No, dude. Teetotaler is someone who takes sobriety to the point where they're just like very oh, judgmental. A cunt. Oh, never mind. Although I, I think it's... I, I thought it was somebody total. who... No, I, I'm mistaken. Who kind of teetotals the line? I fucked that up. I could be wrong. I could just no, be I think you're right. I think you right now. teetotalers were... I could just be that? squeezing you. You could never squeeze my head to Dude, death. Dude, if you were 80, I could squeeze you to death. <laughs> yes, if, if I'm I was right 80, now... I'll never be 80. I wish. Dude, I wish my grandfather was still alive. I'll literally I'll never be 80. squeeze him, dude. If my grandpa was still alive, yeah. I would, I would squeeze him. I have a hard time seeing old people not just being like, yeah, come here. Mm. They used to, I used to go to the nunnery when I was little, dude. I thought about squeezing a couple of them. The nuns, dude. I could have two at a time. <laughs> you could easily, Sister Mary, <laughs> and just the whole time be like, <laughs> oh, the noises, dude. It wouldn't be that. It'd be guttural. It'd be like, <laughs> yeah. It would have been. You're not that guy, just like quietly going. That was also you pretty could get into the nunnery and do that. 
Yeah, they you could like, get in and you, squeeze everyone one by one. You could volunteer with acoustic guitar. Just Although like, there could be the boss nun, which is the young bull, the young bull dog that would get you. True, but that's he, not an appropriate thing to call them. True, I know what you're talking <laughs> but, about. You know, the I mean, young bull. Yeah. There's a big one in there waiting. Yeah. Young, although a lot of the younger ones are petite and beautiful. We had some big dogs running around. Did you really? Yeah, we had some big units. Yeah, they tended they got to have going, large we had one, teeth and crazy eyes. A lot of the old nuns had like, they looked like the, yeah. they looked, you know, Beezer's new poster he's putting out for the, uh, yeah. of the motor, they look like the motorcycle, like Harley <laughs> Davidson skeletons. <laughs> they really do. They were scary. They were. We had one that was very nice and I like her, but they used to call her John Madden. She was huge. She might've been six too. <laughs> She might have been six too, and then during a class, people would be like, "Boom!" <laughs> like they would do John Madden things. <laughs> she had no idea. No. Imagine if they just gamed the whole time. She well, it was all just because they were they. I, that'd be sick. I'd become a nun. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I'm not. I'm not far from being a big, big unit nun. Do they? T- would they take a trans? Do you think a trans male? It. Yeah, I mean, it MTF? was none of it was just lesbians. They were just Catholic lesbians. True. They all had like partners. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah, I didn't know. Just in was, a small community, everybody was like, "You can't be gay." You just ride you out your nun. girl gayness till like you just it's you're done with it. Mm-hmm. That must be a nice day. You're like, I don't think I'm. A- I I kind of envy that life of you like you just go to high school sporting events every year for fifty straight years. Yeah, it's where- like, nice. It's basketball season. <sighs> can't wait. Nice. It's football season. The shit rules. Damn, you're outside watching like the states. You have a blanket over your lap. Oh, you're blanket. Just- you get a hot cocoa. <laughs> oh. Being a fucking giant lesbian at a Catholic <laughs> school, it kind of fucking rules. <laughs> Any, I mean, giant lesbians, they don't need to. They yeah, but like, dude, you're so good at geometry by you're like 25. You're like, dude, ask me anything. <laughs> I know every single, I know how squares and, and triangles work. And every know, few years you get the taste box secretly. True, yeah. But Probably around Christmas a, time, I would what say. What a nice treat that must have been to taste box. A little bit of box. wine, dude. A little bit of wine. A little wine. You're at the party. Can you believe we won states? Can you believe it? Like, I mean, oh it's God. double A, but that's still pretty good. How's Amer- how's modern American history going? Oh, 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 then use much box, and the box must taste so nice after not tasting box for your whole. You've been depriving yourself for so long, oh. and then finally you get the sweet nectar of box. You wake up, dude. Yeah, I mean, and I, no one's policing. None. Like priests come under fire because they're controlling all yeah. the money of like a whole parish. As a nun, you could probably munch away pretty much, pretty much in peace. You can munch box. Yeah, I think they'll let it slide. Yeah, as a, a priest sucking dick is much more grave sin. Or getting, yeah, that, getting posed. A lot, a lot of those dudes have girlfriends. Really? Yeah, dude. They must be cool. <laughs> I actually like those priests. They're pretty, they are actually pretty cool. Yeah, yeah my, uh, my bro was working, Spud Man was working. I mean, how many confessions can you take before you try to fuck? If a lady came in and confessed to some wild shit, I'd, I'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> Mash up against the screen, be like, oh, yeah, just, hey, <laughs> slide it open. <laughs> what? Sorry, let me just get an image of you. Yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, that's, uh, how long do you think you would last if you were just to completely forget the world <laughs> and then have to, like, just, I guess, priest around before you just to got into, priest? like, some crazy shit? Uh, completely forgo all of your strivings and just, like, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to, if I, obviously, you're a man of God. If I tomorrow became a priest. Yeah. How long before I got fucking shit housed at the fucking <laughs> monastery or whatever? It'd be so fast. I'd get those dudes booze too. Some of them booze, yeah, dude. Yeah, Father Flynn. He, dude, You'd I didn't know what up. I didn't know what alcohol smelled like. Like you know when like it comes off of people's pores. Yeah, he just smelled like that. And later on, I was like, oh, dude, that guy was a big time alcoholic. Yeah, yeah. I he was mean, a nice dude. He was a nice dude. That's forgivable too. If you're a priest, you're sitting there. Yeah, you just gotta get hammered nightly. Oh yeah, and they get to go to the high school football games, dude. <laughs> Being a priest, and you the get fleece? to give a fucking pump up prayer. You ever have that? I'd have to get a couple in me for that. We had priests give us pump up prayers. I've seen them do it. Yeah, They're like Our Lady of Victory, pray for us. And they'd give you like a biblical thing about smiting your enemies Jesus before Christ. the big game in the locker room. Oh, pretty tight. Go that would home. fire me just up. Nobody's just awake. Guy, just a shit house priest being like, dude, <laughs> fucking send these motherfuckers to hell. <laughs> and you're on Pornhub later that night. You're like, yeah, I'm, for, me for I'm not perfect, dude. I'm yeah, not perfect. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a crazy life, man. Especially with the dudes who were doing it seriously, dude. The guys who are on like a, a pure thing of like, I'm yeah. gonna completely get salvation for my soul. Fuck, that's hard. Huh? 
Is there a party kid? All <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> <There's> on this <laughs> couch. <laughs> oh, Ooh, got there's him. a retarded kid from my high school named Doug who was like all in on priesthood. Like he was like, once I graduate, I'm becoming a priest and I'm going to be the fucking man. Nice. Did he? And he did. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. It's good. Why is he retarded? Because he's actually like a retarded man. <laughs> oh, really? I don't know. I think he kind of like is pretend priesting and they kind of. Damn, like, that'd be nice to get a confession a from a retarded guy. <laughs> like, I'm going to need you to sing three baby sharks. <laughs> <laughs> Fire department's probably relieved. They're like, oh, thank God. What do you mean? Our roster's full. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need a volunteer firefighter. <laughs> it's crazy when retarded guys <laughs> opt to the priesthood, dude. <laughs> Otherwise, you just sit with a Dalmatian all day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big firefighter. The firefighter's like, God damn, thank God. Now nah, they need, they do need special needs guys to volunteer to feed the Dalmatians. For sure, that's what they do. For sure, that's a sick gig too. They're great boys, dude. That's a I, good dude, gig. I was at a where the hell? I was at a grocery store <laughs> in Atlanta, and their greeter was retarded. Yeah, it was the best man. Because usually yeah. you get like you get some dude in there who's like. Or oh, I'm fucking, I hate this job. This dude came in. It was like, it was an absolutely enlivening greeting. I was just yeah. like, fuck, man. How you, great. Yes. You know, it was fantastic. Rather than like, I've walked through Walmart sometimes. And it's just like, I, I swear to God, I've like walked past ladies where like, I think if I looked them in the eye, I'd turn to stone. You walk by them. <laughs> the they're, just Walmart like, they're just staring all the way down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Walmart Medusa. They're, just, they're just like staring through the cinder blocks, just thinking about their life. And you're like, all right, I'm going to just avoid this person. Oh, it's a tough one. Brutal, they, I can't dude. believe they still have greeters. They have them, yeah. They have the security detail. It's a funny thing to call retarded people. <laughs> <laughs> I used to walk by, dude. I back when I would steal from Walmart when I was a checkout thief, I would do it so brazenly because I would look at them and be like, "This guy is somewhere else right now." Like, yeah. literally, they're somewhere. They hate their job so much that they're mentally elsewhere, and I would just like put stuff in a bag and look at them. Like they're not even looking and I'd walk past them. Like here's, yeah. my, here's my receipt they? with literally one thing on it. And I have yeah. four bags and I'd be like, here you go. And they would just go, Ugh. dude, I told you I went to that, uh, mentally handicapped movie theater. What? I went to, it was in, it was in New York. What? Everybody that worked there had down syndrome. Nice. That theater fucking rocked. It's the best, dude. They were so pumped. Dude, they fucking to get you the popcorn and then be like, "What movie are you going to see?" You tell them they're like, "Holy shit, it's the fuck! <laughs> Holy shit, it's so good!" <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, they're absolute angels, bro. <clears throat> absolute angels. And some of that Skankfest COVID I have. Mm -hmm. I had, I think I had it two weeks ago after my wedding, but my body, you know, I've, re I've recovered from it. I think three I times. actually probably did because really? at Rogies I got that antibody test and they said you've come in contact with it recently. Oh. Nice. My body's like, nah. Yeah, dude, it's hot. I'm telling you, hot bath and eat spicy food, and it goes away. And it's that's my that's what I do for me personally. I, really? I'm obviously not a doctor. I'm not giving out medical advice. <laughs> yeah, true. Every time that I think I have COVID and I didn't get a test because I didn't feel like it, I would go take a hot bath, and dude, it kills it every time. That I would probably have some benefit. I'm telling right? you, dude. I think <laughs> every time I like feel a little sense. sick, I just scorch. My, I give myself a fever. Yeah. It kills it. Too. I like grasping for everything other than the vax. <laughs> it's very funny to be like, I think this might work. I do it for yeah. myself. Yo, they're bringing leeches back in. They're bringing leeches back into medical it's technology. It's about time. I'm telling you, they, they're starting to use leeches again. That shit worked. For what? Blood shit? I don't know, bro. Look it up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fucking doctor, dude. I just well, heard. I'm a fucking doctor. I was, watching, beat. I was watching a YouTube video on ashwagandha, and they talked about how they're using how leeches again. You need to get some leeches. I might if I need them. I don't have. You, you know, don't feel good. I, what was it? Look up what they're using leeches for now. Um, leeches. Did you ever I, see bloodletting? Of, like they just cut like the vein on the side of your head. <laughs> I think it works. They just put a bowl here and slice have, it open like, an like infection a temple. Or something, they just let. They just like get rid of some of your blood. Bloodletting. You know how Benjamin really? Franklin died? Sick, they just kept cutting him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, mean, had, I thought he had pneumonia. Yeah, they and they just... <laughs> okay, dude. Okay. Well, you know, some people have adverse reactions to the vaccine, dude. So, a, yeah, true. If you give something to everybody, obviously people are going to have some bad reactions. Some people are going to have bad times. <laughs> that must have been a dark move when you accidentally bloodled a little too hard on <laughs> Big Washington. Some baby turned into a razor. Oh, Big Wash, like, dude. Oh shit. oh shit! This one's deep. You're looking at you're looking at a diagram like arteries are new. You're like, was that one of the big ones? Fuck, Fuck that was a huge one. That dude. was one of the big ones. He's dude. dying of pneumonia. It's <laughs> like, which one part of the body are ghosts in? You're like, I think their stomach. Yeah, uh, just cut their arm. <laughs> <laughs> Benjamin Franklin died. They thought because he uh, 
he would breathe in. He was a firm believer of getting fresh air every single day. So he'd open his window no matter what time of year it was and sit and just breathe in like air, especially in the wintertime. And he developed an abscess in his lung. Just from sitting in front of the cold air, and just, <laughs> <laughs> you fucking die. <laughs> That's always so fun, they though. say. So they say. Yeah. What are they saying? They it use look. It looks like leeches can cure anything, according to Google. It says, Bro, I'm telling you, they're bringing them back. They, the people it says nervous system abnormalities, dental problems, skin diseases. It can help save limbs in plastic surgery uh, incidents, like bad plastic surgeries. Mm-hmm. It can help hemorrhoids. What? Whoa. Now we're talking. I know. Oh, I would love to st- put one of those things up my ass and have a bunch of <laughs> hemorrhoid, bro. Suck a hemorrhoid right out of you. Dude, did you ever? This happened to me <laughs> oh my recently. God. Who wrote that? The American Medical Association, NIH, probably. probably <laughs> Pet Smart. <laughs> <laughs> Pet Smart was like, we got a lot of leeches. <laughs> we got to sell these. <laughs> we got to get rid of these. That is from the Royal College of Surgeons of England. That's. Yeah, from the UK. That's good stuff. Mm. That's good stuff, dude. I had, I had some like you know when you have light hemis. When like, was it written? Inside? Fucking thirteen oh eight. What no, the I'm telling fuck? You, Old research. I'm telling you, I brought in. I was watching a video on Ashwagandha, which I take right now. It's Indian ginseng. It's you know miracle worker. And you look they, good. You look glowing. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Low, it lowers your cortisol. The um, oh, it increases your T too. Which is, What's cortisol? It's like stress. It's like a stress hormone you release. Mm. Yeah, dude. It's <laughs> Ashwagandha is a shit. <laughs> Yeah, you posted that on your Instagram story about like stress destroying your brain. And I was Dude. like, I don't remember the last year. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't remember the last two years. Burns up the hippocampus. It yeah, really dude, does. It, it, there was, I was reading a study. It scared me. It was saying it's like stress, neg- experiencing negative emotions. It's like pouring hydrochloric acid on your brain. And t- you know, and obviously not as extreme, but it just like those yeah. axons and dendrites just start to just unravel. Mm. Your brain just starts to just melt. It's like, well, fucking this sucks. Yeah. Brain's like, let's try to not think. Just starts to melt. FIFA. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> People are like, Shade, you got to like watch it. This is, you're on TMZ. It's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Man, you, I'm down 3 2 right now. <laughs> That's a problem. This is a problem. <laughs> I'm fine. Dude. I'm telling you, it's the worst. Yeah. Having problems stinks. Problems suck. So you ass. try to figure them out and you're like, I have a ton of food. I'm not ever really all that cold. Like, are they fake? And you go, oh, fuck. I can't figure them out. Yeah, you can't figure out your problems. Fake. That's why you need to be a fucking greeter. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. If you, those problems go right out the door. You sneak some raisinets. Yep. <laughs> fucking <laughs> pocketing raisinets. There goes all your problems. Like, oh, you're going to see Space Jam? Fuck, I wish I was in there with you. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. <laughs> yeah, your manager's like, yeah, pretty slow. Get in there and check some movies out. And you're like, oh, dude. fucking yeah. Oh, man. I yeah. wish I was a manager that got to be like, dude, it's slow. Get in there, dude. Get the Space Jam rolling. Yeah. Just a dude comes into your theater's like, ah. <laughs> it must be tough, though. You pick up another wave, and you're like, psst, yo, psst. Oh, You know, with a flashlight. Take away they're like, <laughs> Try to hide. <laughs> Psst, yo, psst. Pull, there was a popcorn yeah. lines long as hell. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be stoked on that though too. They'd be like, "Dude, you get True. your scooping." They'd be like, "Yes." True, dude. Stick keeps getting fucking better. There's lunes. <laughs> 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 oh man, fuck, dude. I forgot what the hell I was going to talk about. We're talking about leeches. Talking about problems. Problems. Talk about ashwagandha. I fucking. Yeah, but- it was right there. I did the same thing. I was I was so excited hitting you with all my Irvine knowledge. It's the only place I knew you were. And I'm I was, like, I wanted, check out this place. Check out this place. You're I wanted stuck. to. I wanted to be like, shut the fuck up without <laughs> fucking Irvine. <laughs> I was sitting on a fucking tarmac, but I did get to watch I Am Legend. That's tight. I watched I Am Legend and I watched City of God. That's two great movies. Yeah, I was pumped. That's too good. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, between L O T R and P O C S. POCs, Pirates of the Caribbean. Is, I love calling them POCs, yes. dude. POCs, <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> dude, I mean, could you have dropped the ring into the vat of lava? Probably not. You don't think so? No. I would have slammed dunked. I bro. struggle. <laughs> I struggle with discipline. I mean, dude, it's I'd a real a question. I, I, I was bugging myself out about that because they're the Lord of the Rings. I wouldn't have got. The, I wouldn't have even gotten to Mordor. Mortar, I would have gotten yeah. the ring and be like, well, why can't I have it? Somebody's got to have this. <laughs> I should be the one with this. I need to bring this to the world of men. Dude. Yeah. 
Yeah, dude, it's man. I that was that was that was the thing I bugged out on the most. Where it's like, there's all these battles, all these big epic wars, but you know what Lord of the Rings rests on? Common folk surrendering their fucking unquenchable thirst for power. Mm. Oh man, that's so deep, Tolkien. Yeah, Tolkien. I was laying there in my blanket, just being like. Damn, we do all have to give it up, don't we? It'll take every last fucking one of us. That's nice, though. Yeah, it was great. It's really nice you can do that. Yeah. Like, have those types of... I I can't... Really? What'd you think when when he he dumped it? Like, when you see him with the ring, are you being like, oh, my God. When I was a young man, I liked it. When I was young, I was able to, like, be gay. Yeah. And get into stuff and have fun. Really? Now I'm just a fucking dork you can't get you can't I'm get into the fucking room. dorkest dude i sit there i'm like fucking elijah wood looks like a dumbass <laughs> <laughs> fucking <laughs> to be fair sam wise is a fucking retard <laughs> that's how i spend every movie <laughs> i was wondering how you thought how you like i felt did not about like frodo time. i hate frodo really and sam just mr frodo mr frodo we're gonna be home back to the shire soon mr frodo i don't uh, think we're making it there's some people i like in that i used Double to like door. legolas not Dumbledore. 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 Gandalf. Yeah, Gandalf. they're the same. They're the exact same. Gandalf the fucking great. Gandalf. Gandalf's awesome. Dude, when he banishes that thing, I was so pumped. I saw what, those the fire movies. demon? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, dude. That Balrog takes that thing down to hell. Yeah, fucking Balrog. I, I saw the Lord of the Rings movies in oh, high school. Dude. I was so high. I didn't remember any of Pippin them. Pippin might be the lamest fucking character. Pippin's the one fucking. Full of two. He's, yeah, he's, he is a dumb dickhead. He's constantly causing he, trouble. He causes bro. trouble in the fucking t- tomb when he knocks over like a well bucket yeah. and all the orcs come. He's a dickhead. Yeah, dude, he grabs the crystal ball like an asshole. Yeah, oh. yeah he was he was pissing me off. Constantly I mean, fucking. They should have cut his head off. They should have sent him yeah. to hell. They should have thrown him down that well. Yes. But he did He did play. He you got know, the trees involved. Got them to Gondor. Dude, that's all I kept thinking about. I was like, we need the king of Gondor to step back up. Who's that? We need just a sick president. Oh, yeah. We need like an absolute statesman, dude. What if that's what's happening to to Biden right now? He is the king somebody's of whispering. Fauci's whispering poison oh, into his ear for sure, dude. And, and then it's, once you dispatch <laughs> Fauci, <laughs> and then Biden just comes back to full health, and he's like, "What the hell was I talking about?" <laughs> <laughs> he's King Theodore. Yeah, yeah, dude. We Biden could be the he could be the fucking he, yeah. Right now, he's getting his soul sucked out of him. He's just a mere steward right now, yeah. dude. He's, I was Doctor, talking to Spud about it. Dr. Fauci. Spud was like, Fauci's just chewing cherry tomatoes. Just like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, you got to watch it. If you haven't watched Lord of the Rings, you got to go back and watch it. This might be the most important movie of our time. Mm. Could you surrender? I kept the whole time. I was like, could I surrender the fucking ring? No, dude. You're power hungry as fuck. It's everything, dude. It's you're every- a greedy power pig. Yeah, it goes into everything. You really all, we all are, dude. Yeah. I was like, dude, could I surrender? Because like, you think about it. Oh, my God. No. That thing is, this dude. one, I've never. Yeah, we went to, we to Barcelona today, and you should have seen. Oh, that. my God, dude. He wanted to walk around the office to see all the beautiful women that worked there. Yep. And then he was eating cake. He got birthday cake. Yep. You go in there and eat cake in front of the beautiful women. It was to turn that you, down, dude. How did you feel when you were eating cake and beautiful women walked over? Nervous, dude. So we, did you throw me, your cake out when the women approached? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> let me set the seat. If they look? made the cake, no one was eating it. I would have been rude if I didn't eat the no, cake. No, don't, don't eat their cake. Adam forced it on you. He did, but I was happy to have it because my tummy gone hungry. <laughs> dude, you didn't eat your fucking greens, man. You didn't even eat because I had too much. I had my dessert before my supper. <sighs> And he's, he, did, then you, it's did you bring fault. your greens out? You throw your greens out? No. You, you still have your, your greens? You have you brought your greens in the Uber? I don't I don't remember seeing the greens. I didn't see any fucking greens. <laughs> you threw your fi- I bought you those greens. I oh, can't believe it, bro. I smashed that, dude. I, that thing was gone. Yeah, I, I haven't crapped it. yet though. Well, that's good. Your body's not destroyed yet. You're still young. My body. So yeah, that e- the green e- touches my intestines. <laughs> the chlorophyll it spews them out. It's the power of the sun. Yeah. You know the sun's actually green. No, I didn't know. It that. emits mostly green light. Really? Who told you that? Will Smith, Planet Earth. <laughs> That's all my facts come from right now, dude. I'm that g- show is so crazy. It is funny to. I know we. It's it's a comment like everybody. Everybody's like, oh, I'm autistic. I'm fucking. Everybody's saying that now. Yeah. It's kind of like the new. I'm depressed. Remember when I'm depressed was in yep, style? Exactly. Now everyone thinks they're autistic. It was fun to see you actually be autistic today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you put. If you put Matt in a situation he's not used to, or come, like any time we did an episode at the stand, you were fully <laughs> autistic. <You> just, <laughs> I was less autistic today. You came out of it, but you were hitting them like I, I know you, yeah. but you'd be hitting them with like 
statements that were, they were everyone in the room was like, what the fuck? Who the fuck is this guy? Like, Did you know Manhattan rises 14 inches? <laughs> I learned it on watching Will Smith's new show. <laughs> this was back before Will Smith, back when he was on Summertime. Like this was the Summertime era of Will Smith. <laughs> it was like, holy shit, dude. You obtain knowledge and then you don't realize that no one else knows what the fuck you're talking about. And so you're like, you know, in the Will Smith book back when he was also, in 1987 when he was doing I'll, this. I'll see it and I'll go, I can't wait to tell and inject that into a conversation. As soon as I get a go ahead, I'm just like, blah. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? I like it. Dude. It's a nice thing. Fuck, man. That show was killing me. All you want to answer the internet is great. That was fun. You getting hit with sports questions? Oh, dude. That was too fucking fun. Who would win this or that thing? It's like, man, I don't fucking know. That was them being on it. They asked us who would win a polar bear or a great white. And you and me were both like a great white. But then they just talked for bears. They talked about bears for like five minutes. That was great white, bro. It was yeah. like, you boys love bears. You want to talk yeah. bears. You guys want to talk And bees. I get it. I like bears. I side with the, the grizzly versus the silverback gorilla. And a okay. lot of people disagree with me. Yeah. I like a big grizzly. That's pretty. That's fair. A big who grizz? do you go with? Versus Silverback? Yeah, Silverback apparently is the smart answer. Yeah. Is it really? I only got the thumbs, but those big grizzly paws? Yeah, it's true. Ah, that's a tough That's a tough fucking battle. It is battle. a tough one. It's a tough call. That's way harder than fucking polar bear shark. Yeah, that's actually takes some thinking. I Dude, a shark would just ram a fucking polar bear underwater. Polar bears are slow swimmers. Yeah, in a, in I, think, a, I don't ooh, think they are. No, they're not. Not as fast as a shark. Compared Obviously to shark. not as fast as a shark. That's what I'm saying. They dude, didn't talk about the width of the pool. That's Fair what they didn't enough. include. It was what, eight feet deep? It was seven feet deep. Seven feet deep. Dude, a shark's going to fucking smash. That actually probably doesn't hurt the shark. What a, There's nowhere for the polar bear to move out of the way, really. That's what I'm saying. He's getting, it's, he's they're getting swimming. bit. Polar bear, can polar bear can't, yeah, they can, yeah, it can only, it can tread water or swim, and a shark's going to swim circles <laughs> around it. Literally, dude. Yeah. Damn it. Mm -hmm. Trying to put its fin up, dude, just to let it know. Since I was a young boy, I've uh, had a great affinity for great white sharks. Same, bro. I'm never going to sit here and side against them in a fight. Shark Week, dude. Shark Week was so sick, Fuck. dude. That's always that's the best about having nephews and shit. Seeing them get into stuff, oh. like going through phases, like truck phase, yeah, space phase, dude. Shark my, phase is my brother's kid. He's four. He does a thing I'm now. Still in shark phase. Maybe he's five. I mean, he's four or five, but he'll do a thing where he'll walk up to kids at a playground and go. My name's Mac, M A C K. Do you want to play with me? And he lays it all on the line. <laughs> nice. Dude, and people, some of them, some say, you know, they're like, yeah, let's do it. Some kids go, no. And he's just right. like, <sighs> just walks away. It's like, good that he's, he's going he's gonna to be a fucking psycho. <laughs> if he's already like facing rejection, <laughs> true. He's going to never mind rejection. He's going to be true. an animal when he gets older. That's a good point. He's going to be Elon Musk. Dude. You got to start spelling your name. But yeah, my name's Jane, S H A N E. Do you, you want to play? You want to hang out with? Play with? Oh, that might be a good pickup line at the bar for the sweet ladies. Oh, definitely. Hey, my name's Shane S H A N E. Do you want to play with me today? Definitely, dude. Hey, babe, you want to play? Or, dude, I thought about we should get into like, um, hey, just, hey, little girl, you want to play tonight? You want to play with me? <laughs> <laughs> you got to get into like gentleman culture of just like making social connections and like throwing little gentleman parties. callers having parlors. We yeah, dude. have a discussion in the parlor. Yep. I'm yeah. listening I'm listening to a book right now and it's a, it's a story, but it's all about that time of like French aristocracy, mm. gentlemen. Dude, it's so fucking funny. I'm just being like that guy's a fucking snob and I'm like, "Oh, hey, what's going on?" Well, like, all hang out. We're kind of that's comedy. A, yeah, dude, it's, it you was who sucks this guy and then you see him in real life, you're like, "Fuck, they're great." And they start doing well and you're like, Fuck this guy. Yeah. Dude, it's so fucking... The book I'm listening to right now is so funny with that shit. He's a fucking snob. His family's poor. <laughs> <laughs> he just... Dude, it's so fucking funny. Dude. Do you know any snobs? I Dude, there's the... I don't... I can't think of any. But they're, what they were dealing with, it was funny, what they were dealing with in this story, they were like, there's a French word for a chauvinsle, and there's no real... They're saying like there's no real translation, but th what they described was a climber. They're just, or if you want to call them butt dogs, butt dogs. Climbers. So it was just butt dog, French butt dog culture, and this guy like butt dogged his way to the fucking top of yeah, France. That's of what old uh, families and it pissed people off. So the Sun King had going up Versailles. Really? Did you know that? No. He built Versailles to make all of the lords live with him. What? And they all butt dogged out to see who could be his favorite. What? They lived together with butt dog as hard as they could <laughs> to be like, I got to watch him put his shoes on today. What? And they would butt dog to see who got to like sit closest to him, all that. Whoa, dude! Yeah, he built like a basically a reality show. He built like The Bachelor for himself, and for everyone, and forced to get all on. the French aristocracy to butt dog out. Dude, it's so funny. 
like, I like the, it. The, what the dude would do, he would find prominent families that were in like a tough. <laughs> He said, you are a great to both adults. <laughs> it's funny with French people. He would find like a prominent family who needed to like sell stuff off because of short-term money problems. And he would quietly arrange like stuff with American museums. And that's how he made his fortune. Yeah. But they're all, everyone kind of were like. You love it's a, schemes. It's a dirt, I do. You love, everyone you've was, always been a fan of French schemes. French aristocracy was like, this is a dirty, shameful business, dude. Of like selling anything. They called him a dealer. Like he's a yeah. fucking dealer. And that was like a big, and he, he resented that. He get very pissed off. I, uh, in other news, yeah, there's a new movie coming out and it's cool. It's what called the three, five, five. It comes out this week. Ooh. I can't wait to see it. It's a, a super spy group of hot international women. What? They all look like they weigh about 90 pounds and they are kick ass and they're from other countries and the Chinese lady is helping American lady. So I don't know who the fuck they're fighting. Yeah. But well, what's it's, cool is it's called the three, five, five because Something about like George Washington had his female spy network where they're descendants. It's like, do you understand that in the Revolutionary War, female spies would have been dirty whores True. and True. hookers <laughs> that slept with British guys? <laughs> Honey pots, bro. Which that's what should, that's what the movie should be. Instead that of women sick, like, dude. we're kicking ass. Yeah. It should be like, we're going to go fuck like the most famous, the world leaders, and uh, we're going to take advantage of that. Yeah, I was. Uh... <laughs> I was talking, yeah, they should. I was talking to LOTR with Butterly, and it, it, the lady fucking, you know, the lady fucking gets in there at the end. Mm. And at least they did I don't that. like that. Well, they at least did it where it has, was like, you know, she's kind of like, oh shit. Like, it, it's like sure. a parent. She's a lady in a war. So at least they did that. And I'm like, dude, if that were any movie now, it would have been like five chicks. Like, oh shit, here come girls. All the orcs. Yeah. Are like, oh, it's girls. And they're like, yeah. Wah, wah, wah. No, the orcs would be like, they're not as strong as men. We can beat their ass. Like they, <laughs> yeah. they, they, you know, the bad guys in every movie, they're like, you're just a woman. What are you going to do? Yeah. And then a girl like does like a fucking five foot in the air jump kick yeah. backflip. And it's like, yeah, that's, they got to knock it off, bro. They can't. They, they have They to. cannot knock. You know what I saw this week? I went and saw a movie after my debacle at Starbucks and Cheesecake Factory. What'd I went and sat down and saw The Kingsman. I like it. Was it good? I usually don't like corny action flicks. I liked this one. Really? It was pretty neat. I think you'd get a big kick out of it. I probably would. You would like it. Maybe I'll go to the matinee. You should check it, yeah. yeah I'll go to the theater. Matinee McCusker. <laughs> <laughs> you should go. Maybe I'll have to take my wife to a night of the theaters. Your wife would enjoy a night at the now theater. I'm a aristocrat, dude. I think we're both aristocrats now that you're mentioning it. But yeah, I think I'm, I'm a more of a fat cat. <laughs> You're just a gentleman. I'm a, a gentleman dealer, dude. I'm gonna be a sly fat cat, dude. Really? Arist yeah, I might be. The, the you gotta plug me into the aristocrat network. That's what happens. Yeah. You plug someone in, and once old they boy, start doing well, you start calling you old boy. We're gonna have fun tonight, old boy. <laughs> <laughs> you got chap. Chap is a good one. But yeah, dude, you just have to like get away from all things money and just be a gentleman. Mm. It's just very disgusting. Even dude. mentioning money is disgusting. Oh, dude, it's completely distasteful. It is distasteful. It's you just bloodlines. You can yeah. tell new money. Just bloodlines, families. But his family. Here's what. Here's the deal with their family. Yes. You have to tell the thing. There's actually a gentleman from Virginia. Yes. Who went out to Chicago. I'd be a gentleman from Pennsylvania. Son of a, for you know the he's the heir to the salesman fortune <laughs> and teacher fortune. <laughs> He's the heir to the assistant <coughs> girls volunteer basketball coach yeah. fortune. <laughs> dude. Yes. Yes. Hell yes. Yes, dude. I, dude, I felt so good to get out of that room, man. I, I hadn't been isolated like that in forever. Yeah, I bet. Two days, dude. I do that every weekend on the road. I isolate in a hotel room. God. Then I have to go do stand up after. Well, what am, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of nuts, actually. I got to start walking around. I walk. When this I go to bad. the places, I walk. Yeah. I walk. I walk it out. It's important. To I walk. actually walk too much though. I'll do like five miles in a day and then be like, man, I'm fucked. I'm really tired. Yeah, yeah, walk around by myself and just fucking actually publicly urinate it in Raleigh. Did you? I did. I, I was slamming water. Whenever I go anywhere, I go to a supermarket and I buy way too much water. No, so that's then a I'm, good thing. Well, it is, but then Crushing I go. Crushing water is nice. I got to drink all of this water. So I'm constantly pounding it. Then I was walking around Raleigh, all these, you know, no one does public bathrooms anymore. Fucking bullshit. Yeah, they don't. Dude, so I got stuck in the middle of nowhere, and I'm like, I had it was like level ten, had to pee. So I, there was like an old bank that went out of order, and I went back there and peed behind the tree. Behind it. I peed behind it. Speaking of public urination, I saw Andrew Santino posted a video of our buddy Chris O'Connor pissing into a fountain. What the heck? 
I was pissed. Where was this? I responded to it. I said, this is crap, dude. That's crazy. Yeah, that's bullshit. That's a crime, bro. That is a crime. And at I least like I had the decency to go hide behind a tree, dude. Yeah, you can piss in a fountain and be like, ha, look dude, at me. I don't my, like it. People in my social circle found out that I went and peed outside. I'd be fucking laughed out of my house. You'd be laughed out of the fucking city. You'd have to move. I'd have to move, dude. I'd be laughed out of my seat, yeah. my Cortesian scene, dude. The word would get out, though. True. Even in your new city, they'd be like, yeah, I heard he urinated into a fountain. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. It's very lowly behavior. Dude. What do you think? Do you think our?